Hello and welcome to this AutoCAD 2017 tutorial. In this video we are going to be looking at 3D modelling. So we're going to look, make our first steps into uh, the world of 3D uh, CAD. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be opening up a new uh, drawing. So we click here. Now whereas in the past we've been selecting uh, this one, ACAD ISO named plot styles. This time we're going to be opening ACAD ISO named plot styles 3D. And when we open this up, when we start a new drawing, we should see immediately that there is quite a significant difference uh, in the uh, layout that we've got going on here. As you can see, uh, we're no longer looking at uh, a plain uh, face on, we're now looking at it. Uh, in this case we're looking at it in kind of a uh, perspective uh, point of view and you'll notice we've got our X and Y uh, axes that we've become so very familiar with over the uh, past few videos and in this case we've now got a Z axis which is going to allow us to add depth or height to our models. So what we're going to be looking at in this video uh, is just some very basic commands as to how to produce very simple basic 3D models uh, and we'll have a, a chat about the different ways of viewing uh, what we've got on the screen as well. So let's have a look at this. Uh, the first thing we need to think about is if we look on here you can see we've got exactly the same tools that we had before but now that we're working in 3D we need to start looking at some different tools. So up here where we've got the drafting and annotation in the workspace window if we click on that and drop that down you can see here that we've got 3D basics and 3D modeling. Now 3D Basics uh, gives you exactly what it sounds like, it gives you the basics of 3D drawing. But what we're going to do is we're going to go straight into working with the 3D modelling, which gives you the full array of 3D modelling tools, uh, so that we don't uh, get too bogged down in the detail of where to find things in 3D Basics and then it all changes when we get to this stage. So again we've got the different uh, tabs on the ribbon and then the different uh, views within there, so we've got uh, Home, Solid, Surface, Mesh, uh, many of these will be discussed over the course of these videos. So when we look at this one now, uh, what we're going to do to start off with, we're just going to look at this modeling pane here. Uh, and again, there's a drop down which indicates that there's more things that we can use, more things that we can consider. But we're going to start off with this set of tools here. This set of tools basically allows you to produce uh, the basic shapes uh, that might be required. So you can see here, if we drop this down, we've got box, cylinder, cone, we've got sphere, pyramid, wedge and torus uh, which is basically like a donut shape. So if we consider our box tool here, if we select that we're going to specify uh, the first corner, so we're just going to put this anywhere random. We could tie it exactly to the coordinates 0, 0 if we wanted to or anywhere on this plane that we're considering here, the XY plane. But uh, at the moment we're just going to start in an arbitrary position right here and then we're going to tell it how long we want it to be. So if we say we want it to be 500 mil long and then if we want to set the uh, width of that we'll press tab to select that one and let's make it 300, just a random number and hit enter. You can now see uh, that we've got our box there and what we can do now is we can add height to it, we can add depth to it so we can tell it to be a specific height. So let's make this 400, hit enter, and now we've created our box. So just a quick word on uh, navigation. If we want to spin around this to have a look at it, select this tool here, the orbit tool, uh, click the mouse button, and then we can just rotate around the box like that. We can change the view of it, we can go up and down, and in and out. And again, as in 2D CAD, if you uh, scroll the mouse wheel, you can zoom in on specific points on there. So that's just a, a quick word on how to uh, uh, zoom in and out and uh, orbit around it. Panning works in the same way, hold down the middle mouse button and you can move it around like that. So that's what we're looking at, there's our box that we've drawn. Let's have a look at some of the other tools uh, for making basic shapes. So now we'll consider how to make a cylinder. So now when we uh, specify the centre of the base you can see again we're drawing on this uh, box down here, on this plane down here rather. So let's set the radius of this to be 150 mil, uh, and then we can specify its height. So again, let's make that just a random number, 250 mil, and there's our cylinder that we've created. Let's consider now the cone. All of this is fairly self-explanatory now, uh, very similar to what we've done before. Specify the center of the base. We'll pop it there. We'll make that uh, the radius 200 mil, and then we can draw the cone up like that. 
or drop it down like that if we prefer. So you can make it as shallow or as high as you want. Let's go for 350. So there is our cone that we've created. So we've created a cylinder and a cone. If you want to create a flat topped cone, uh, which technically is called a frustrum, uh, frustum, then what we do is we spe specify the center point of the base to be there, uh, make it 150 mil radius and then drag up. But down here at the bottom now, uh, in our command line, we've got uh, these options. So if we select top radius and tell it that we want our top radius to be something along the lines of, um, let's say 50 mil, specify top radius 50 mil and then what we're doing is we can then set the height of this to be again if we make it 350 we can compare it to that one so you can see that we've created a flat topped cone uh, which is uh, technically it's called a frustum so there we go so we've got our cylinder our cone and our flat topped cone there all in place jolly good right let's make a new shape now uh, we're going to create uh, a sphere. Spheres are one of the easiest things to create. Just bear in mind when you create these, uh, all you do, uh, again there's different ways of producing it as there was with circles, but we're just going to use uh, the basic one where you specify a radius. So this has selected uh, the midpoint of the sphere uh, on uh, the plane. If we make the sphere of this, if we make its radius uh, 200 mil and hit enter there, you can see that we've created this sphere but notice how it's sitting and this is just something just to watch out for all the other shapes we started on the plane and dragged upwards this one we started on the plane and it's uh, exactly bisected it's cut in half by the plane because uh, that was the center point not just of a circle that we were using to create a sphere but it's actually the center point of the sphere itself so you can see there that uh, that's just a slightly different point of view that you need to have when you create a sphere. Again we'll look at interacting with this plane and how we can change its position, how we can change the user coordinate system uh, to facilitate drawings uh, as we go along uh, with this series of videos. So now if we consider our pyramid tool, uh, if we select our pyramid and pop it down here, uh, this will create a four-sided pyramid. Uh, let's say we want it to be set at uh, something like uh, 200 mil radius and we can do that and then we can specify its height so if we make that 200 as well that's created quite a flat pyramid there what you can also do with the pyramid tool is when you select it in the first place uh, you'll notice here you've got the options uh, edge or sides if we select sides at the moment we've got a four sided pyramid but you can make this pyramid have as many sides as you want so we could make it have uh, six sides say so select six and enter and then just as we did before specify the base let's make that uh, 200 and then create that at uh, 450 and now you can see that we've got a, a six-sided pyramid there next to the four-sided pyramid so that's how we create that okay uh, coming on to the wedge now uh, again hopefully you get an idea for how this works specify the first corner we'll put that there and uh, we'll specify it to be uh, 250 mil by 300 mil and then we create the height of the wedge there we create the height of the uh, chamfer so let's make that 300 and now we've created our wedge now many many things can be made up from a combination of these shapes uh, and by using other tools as we're going to see to modify them after they've been created uh, but this is a basic selection just one more to do before the end of this video and that is the torus so let's create the torus uh, and this is just like creating a circle so we specify the center point give it a radius of 200 mil and then we specify how thick we want the tube radius to be so in this case we're going to make it uh, 50 mil thick and there's our tube uh, our torus there so there we go so there we go we've seen how to create some of the basic shapes in autocad 3d i hope this video was of help uh, and if you have any comments or suggestions uh, please feel free to uh, comment in the box below thank you very much goodbye